Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. We got Gunslinger, Hell on Earth, Zed Landing. Yeah, it's 12 o'clock right now. I gotta go make lunch after this. I don't know what I'm gonna make. I had, um... Yesterday, for lunch, I had uh, Tamago Kake Gohan, which is the, uh, the, like, raw egg with a bit of soy sauce on rice. I might have that again. It was, uh, it was weird. It was, it was quite weird, but um, I wouldn't describe it as bad. It was alright. It was fine. It was better than white rice, you know. But it wasn't better than actually like making a dish, you know. So, so it's 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 very easy to do, which means that I will probably do it reasonably frequently. I need better soy sauce though. I don't like we have uh, we have like Kikoman soy soy sauce here, and I'm not super into Kikoman soy sauce. Um, I feel like it has, it's it's too like salty, I guess. Okay, I'm tilted. Too salty. It has it's it's too too strong to me. Um, there's other soy sauce like when I go to. Uh, a Japanese restaurant or something, or even a Chinese restaurant. The uh, the soy sauce isn't so. I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. But there's this like um, fermented flavor kind of to it, I guess. Um, that I'm not a super fan of. And then when you go to um, like a, a proper Japanese or proper Chinese restaurant, um, like either of them do it better. Um, you get uh, something that's a lot purer and less. It, it, it's more just soy sauce. You know, I don't I don't know how to describe it, but there's there's this like flavor to soy sauce that I really really like a lot. Um, but I can't I can't ever get it with uh, with the soy sauce that I have because it's not the same soy sauce. And um, so I want to want to try and shop around see if I can't find different types of soy sauces that might taste better. Um, Something a little bit more mild, maybe. Um, but we have Kikoman, and I'm not really not that big of a fan. So. But uh, I use it anyway. I mean, it's fine. It, it, like it's good. It's just uh, when I when I compare it to like the best thing that I've had, it's like you know completely pales in comparison. But. Um, that's that's mostly because of the uh, how much I like the uh, the good soy sauce, not necessarily how bad the the Kikoman is. You know, it's not about that uh, the Kikoman is bad, but that the other one is just so good that I wish I uh, that I wish I had it. So I'll have, to, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing there. Might 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 go to a restaurant and just ask them what soy sauce they use. Um, and the thing is. What, what boggles my mind is if I go to like uh, the grocery store, right? And I get um, like sushi at the grocery store. The the little soy sauce packet that they have is from Kikoman, right? And that soy sauce is better than the Kikoman that I can get at the grocery store, like the bottle of, of soy sauce, right? Like, it's it's. I don't. I don't get it. There's there's something to soy sauce that I don't understand yet, and uh, I need to I need to learn it. Oh yeah. Because uh, I feel like it, it it would be a lot better if I if I knew that and how to use it properly. Because like I can make better fried rice. I can make better like well anything. You know why am I so bad? Goodness gracious, we are so out of here. I have no idea what even happened there. Um. <laughs> yeah, I could. Uh, please don't. I could make better, like, everything if I knew how to use soy sauce better. Or had better soy sauce. Whichever it is. Who knows? But, um. I don't, I don't currently know what I'm doing with it, so. I'll put it on most things, but. Well, not really most things, but, like, a lot of things. Um. And I like it, but it's just there. I've 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 been longing for that uh, that specific soy sauce from 
from the restaurants that I get. Even the even the like Kikuman soy sauce and the the packets that come with the the sushi at the grocery store. I'm like, I don't know how you're getting this soy sauce to be so much better than the soy sauce that I get. What are you doing to it? Maybe it's a matter of what you're putting it on. You know, maybe it's not necessarily a matter of the the food, the 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 sauce itself, but like what you're what what you're putting it on, and there, there's something special in that, like. Um, like, uh, like, uh, like MSG, you know? Who knows? Not me. That's kind of the point. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. But I had the other Tamago Kake Gohan yesterday. For the first time. I've had, um, eggs and rice before. Like, eggs and rice go really, really well. Like a fried egg on rice, or scrambled eggs in rice, or eggs mixed into rice and then like cooked is good. I've had that, like scrambled eggs and rice kind of thing, but like kind of mixed into the rice. Like that's good. I'm into it. I've never had just dump a raw egg onto rice, and then uh, yesterday I did the first time, and it was uh, it was fine. Not my favorite food in the world, but perfectly acceptable. That was the last one. Get to the indicated pod for resupply. Perfectly acceptable. For how, for how simple it is, I mean. There are a lot of foods that we eat that we wouldn't eat if they were complicated, right? Like uh, instant ramen. No way in no no way you would ever make instant ramen if it weren't instant right you'd be like well why am i gonna make this one when i spending just as much time as i i could be used to go and do something better you know like just just go make proper ramen it'll be so much better and it takes the same time right the only reason we have instant ramen so much is mostly because it's uh instant <laughs> you boil some water you stick it in the the ramen and you got uh, you got you got, you got, you got, you got, you got your little meal add some soy sauce maybe a Soft boiled egg or something. Spice it up a little bit. Some chives, you know. A little bit of uh, chili sauce, chili oil. Add some, uh, add some spice to the mix. And uh, you got, so uh, you got yourself a good little, uh, good little meal there. Takes, you know, five minutes. That's that's why we, uh, that's why we love instant ramen so much as a uh, demographic. <laughs> If you're, if you're also in the like 20 to, I don't know, like 17 to 23 range. I mean, I'm almost 25 in like under a month, so I'm not really in that demographic anymore, but that's okay. I still quite like instant ramen. It's just so easy. But the Tamago Kake Gohan is another one of those things. I probably wouldn't eat it ever if it, um, if it weren't like, you know, super simple. I'd probably have it about as much as I like fry up an egg and put it in rice, which is to say not very often because I'm like, I don't know, I just, why would I do that when I can just make fried rice, <laughs> you know? Like fried rice is better than this, without, without question. That's kind of, uh, that's kind of where I'm at with it. But it was, uh, it was, it was fine, it was a fine experience. Would I recommend it? I don't know. Maybe. If you, have the, if you have the good kind of soy sauce that I'm unaware of what it is, then I would say definitely go for it. If you if you use some Kikuman, I would say you know what if you want it, if you have a, if you have a bowl of rice and you're like, what do I add to this? And you want to be like, I don't know, I want to try adding something dumb to it. Go ahead and add a raw egg. Mix it up. Have some fun for once. And if you die, don't sue me. Okay, this is um. Not a genuine recommendation. I mean, you're not really gonna die from a raw egg, as long as you, I mean, as long as it's a safe raw egg to consume. Add a add a uh, safe raw egg to consume to your rice. That's that's my that's my that's my final statement. <laughs> uh, most ra most eggs are pretty safe to eat raw, though. I think I've talked about it before, but it's like a one in twenty thousand eggs have uh, have salmonella 
um, which is like nothing. And then you have, you know, from that, how many of the, how many like eggs you have to actually eat to actually get salmonella, right? Like it's. You're not, you're not definitely going to get salmonella from eating one egg. Probably be fine. Uh, as long as you're reasonably healthy, you probably won't be affected by it. Um, and then let's say you get salmonella. You know, what's, what's the chances that you even notice? Like, I don't know. But like, what's the chances that you die from it? Like, probably pretty low. So, I don't know. I, uh, as long as you're eating, like, pasteurized eggs, it's fine. Like, if you're eating pasteurized eggs, it's actually, like, completely fine. There's definitely no salmonella on that. Um. Oh, goodness. So I don't know, man. It's uh, it was a weird experience. I thought it would be more slimy, but it's um, kind of wasn't very slimy. I thought I thought it'd be like very slimy because you got the the raw egg in there, but like after you mix it up and you get it all mixed up, it's uh, it's not very slimy. I don't know. I'm the kind of person who will try anything, pretty much. Like, uh, if you, um, tell me to try something and pe most people are like, well, that's really gross. I was like, I don't know. Safety? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> there's, uh, there's not much that, uh, that puts me off of, uh, of trying it at least once when it comes to food. There's a lot that puts me off of uh, trying it more than once. But, uh, for the most part, Trying something once, I'm like, yeah. This is fine. You know? Nice apron, chainsaw man. That was the last one. Get to the indicated park for resupply. I just don't want to know everything, right? I wanna know what everything tastes like. What if it tastes good? A good instinct. Like, um oops. That was the wrong way to do that, but it's okay. Like uh, the other day. I made uh, this. Is, this is really gross. That's my tip. Good for um, I made I made popcorn, right? And I don't normally butter my popcorn. Um, I just pop it in a reasonable enough amount of oil and a bit of salt, and then you have um, tasty, crisp popcorn. That's not super greasy, right? I don't. I don't normally put butter on it. Sometimes I do. Sometimes, you know, every once every like I don't know, few months. You're just like, I just want some disgusting popcorn. And, uh, you know, there you go. But for the most part, when I make popcorn, it's it's reasonably healthy, I guess. It's not air-popped popcorn, but I don't, I don't smother it in butter. Um, there's still, like, I think, um, carbs, but it's, it's, I'm, I'm unperturbed. It's fine. The amount that I that I eat, I'm not I'm not worried about it. Um, but I uh, I made popcorn the other day, and I saw our like pad of butter, and I'm like, well, you know what? Butter and popcorn go well together. What if you butter your popcorn, right? Like you'd butter a piece of toast, right? So I uh, I took a piece of popcorn. I put a, a bit of butter on it, not much, but like a, a little bit of butter, and then I ate it. Most disgusting thing I've ever had. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> like, it was horrible. It was disgusting. Popcorn specifically needs melted butter. And it's mostly just because you can get the salt to adhere to it. But uh, it was it was really gross. Don't do it. <laughs> it wasn't even much butter. Like it was it was a tiny amount of butter. I'm like, you know what? Melted butter on it. It's fine. What if what if you just put a little bit of butter on it? Kind of get it on there. And... No, don't do it. It's horrible. Horrible. Just just eat the popcorn unbuttered. 
And in the first place, you don't need butter for popcorn anyway. So. Okay, you have to die because I really don't want to jump down just yet. Thank you. See ya. Hurry up. Whew. Boy. That got a little bit hectic pretty quick there. I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm into trying anything. Gross as it may sound, I'll, I'll do it. Sometimes, you know, when I'm making lunch, I'll just, I'll look in the fridge and I'll see what I have. And I'll be like, what is something that I've never had before? And uh, then I'll try that. It's usually something terrible. Right? I'm like, what if I put cheese in my soup? What if, what if I added cheese to my ramen? What if I what if I put um, maple syrup on my uh, my breakfast uh, my egg my egg breakfast sandwich with uh, with like some habanero cheese? You know. Most of the time, pretty gross. Habanero cheese and uh, habanero jack, like um, pepper jack, and uh, maple syrup don't mix very well together. Don't do it. I once had um, an omelet with uh, with pepper jack, which I like. I like that. That's good. And then I put maple syrup on it, and it was it was horribly disgusting. They don't mix, so don't mix them. Trust me. But pepper jack in an omelet is pretty good. You can do that. I uh, I will forgive you for 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 putting pepper jack on an omelet. Most of the time when I make an omelet, I don't use cheese anyway. I make like a French omelet kind of thing. You know, just uh, put it in there, give it a little bit of an omelette shape, give it a nice uh, juicy inside, and um, you're good to go. People say that French omelets are hard to make. They're not really. You know, to make one that's like as good as, you know, pick a pick a famous chef, to make one as good as that person. Yeah, it's hard. To make one that you're gonna enjoy, it's not really hard. You're irritating to make a to make a French omelet that you'll be like, hmm, this was a good breakfast. It's not hard. I do, um, something a little blasphemous for any French chef. I put less butter in <laughs> to the pan when I'm baking French omelette. Because I'm just like, you look at the amount of, like, butter in uh, in a French omelette, and it's, it's absolutely nuts. It's insane. You have to have, like, like, two sticks of butter in there. I guess that's French cooking for you, right? You ask, you ask a French person, like, how do you make food taste good? And they'll be like, oh, you just add butter. You're not getting me, bud. So, uh... I'm definitely, I'm definitely a little bit, I don't know, I just, I don't like adding that much butter. Because, like, I'll add a lot of butter to some things, like uh, steak. Or, like, a pork chop or something like that for, like, basting it. But like when you add it to an omelet, like the omelet absorbs as much butter as you're gonna put in that pan. It's not getting left in the pan. Like when you make a steak or something, you put a ton of butter in it, you end up throwing out most of the butter or like reusing it for something else, but like you're not eating all that butter. When you put a ton of butter into a pan for an omelet, the omelet's like, mmm, butter. And it just absorbs it all. And you're eating all that, and it's like, ugh. So bad. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to more in the future comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I'm stretching right now. So I can't actually stop the video. It's a bad time to stretch. But it was the best time to stretch. Okay, bye. Strong button.